we are working on a 2009 BMW 5 Series. Uh, it has a misfire cylinder 3 code, and uh, I'm using my GTC 505. Uh, I put it in sharp mode. Um, I have the tune up and I, I have a bad coil, but I want to show you how I found it. I basically run it on sharp mode and we'll see it staying pretty consistently high. And there was a little miss, that little drop off right there. And we can, we'll hear the engine kind of miss intermittently. You should see it right on the chart. There was one. And you can see it dropping out. Well, I'll go to a, a good cylinder. And we'll watch it miss and we'll clear my chart. And we'll hear it miss again and we'll see that the another good cylinder isn't giving us that drop. On the bad cylinder. Couple of misses. Right, so we can see. On the waveform, these little drops right here, there's three of them. We're dropping out. When I hold it on a good cylinder, uh, you can see that it holds steady even when you hear the miss in the engine. Uh, so we found the coil that's intermittently acting up. It mostly acts up under load. Uh, but Alright, I got some new plugs and coils in the BMW. I'm going to repeat the test. I'm going to try to get all the coils on one screen, where before I, I was pinpointing a coil. Uh, so we saw the dropouts on that coil. Uh, now I'm going to try to just make sure all the all the coils are firing properly. Uh, so I'm going to try to pick them all up on one screen. So I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to start on cylinder one. I'm going to let it go for a quick second. That little spike was the initial. I'm going to switch to cylinder two. So a little drop off indicates me switching. So far we're steady and I don't feel or hear any misses. Cylinder number three. So good. Number four. A little awkward to get on. Number five. And finally number six. And I'm gonna pull. So we're looking at pretty much all six cylinders on one screen. Uh, the spike ups in the beginning of each one is just me going on it. It's the initial spike that the tool is seeing. Nothing to worry about. What we were seeing on the old one uh, was the actual signal dropping out. So we were seeing it when it would miss. I would hear the miss, but to correspond it with the coil and to see that it was actual coil, uh, this tool was really good and really quick without even pulling out a scope. Um, so that confirmed the fix on this one. I'm going to take it for a drive, put everything back together, and be all set.